Wake up in the morning with some real strange on my mind. So make sure you use proper nomenclature When you king, it don't mean that no man hate ya It mean that moment hate ya We not kissing no ass to be accepted So if you don't fuck with me, cool Guess what, I don't fuck with you, fool But still, I'm gonna be respected Calm down when shit get hectic Turn up when they least expect it And it's always family first Cause I will never leave them neglected The hardest out here we never saw No hesitating when breaking you off But nevertheless, they never will set up for less A professor, but just gonna be proud, proud I did what they wouldn't and went where they couldn't And you can't deny it, nah when others was quiet, think that it's easy, I dare you to try it I've been in the game, always gonna be in the game as long as I choose it Just know that it's deeper than money and deeper than media, deeper than music So long as I keep it a hundred with nothing to hide, they'll never refuse it And it's why I'm holding my own, seated on thorns, I'll never lose it cause I'm the king Heard nigga fuck what you thought Old school cheer Swingin' like Thor Bad eye on the great When you into my car Be head my fold Through him in my ball Got a bad bitch Just straight my fur Grippin' wood grain Like a battle axe Had a dad stack in my claim Nigga I was here first Threw my flag on it More tied to the sun Dive it believe that bitch On Mount Olympus Throwin' lightning bolts at D And I'm a lever Did you see that shit? I'm a country nigga With a bigger dick A L in the Troy And she generous My father helped me up at birth Like you gon' be king No matter what state you in I was like bet 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 it up Bread it up Like a bread truck Bread it up More of those angels Came to me and bitches. Son of the sip it. I think you said enough ready to take over just what you came for When you pour the wine, you can drink slow I can see the hate from every angle Why me burn it down like the Django? Let me ride, man Get the cut in my kingdom Cause that's what I'm pulling It's like the high, man Pushing my niece and my nephews on playground The only thing I'ma let slide, man Do it for people forever been regal You know that it's real I learned from the king that came before me Nigga, I always say trio, bitch What's good, YouTube? Number 82 here, back again once again. It's April today. We're from episode number four of our Pokemon Snakewood Nuzlocke. In the last episode, you guys, we made our way through Petalburg Forest. We fought demons and tigers and bears. Oh my. We saw a severed Pikachu head, encountered some more crazy zombie Pokemon, like from that severed headless boy demon child thing there and uh, apparently there are more demons that we need to eradicate from Rustboro City so if you guys are hyped for today's episode of Snakewood and of course if you're a proud member of the Happy Nation make sure you smash the like button down below for us because you already know your support is greatly appreciated now as you guys saw we did have a or I should say we had our first grinding montage because we need to get our squad leveled up a little bit because a lot of people have warned us that the levels in this game are kind of wild and we're starting to see it we are starting to see it we have our entire squad up to level 15 we have Peter the Beautifly now 
now. It was a Silcoon last episode, but I think it's, what, like, level 10 or something like that? It evolves. So, Peter the Beautifly is on the squad now, holding an Orin Berry, of course, with Gust, Harden, and Absorb. Gust puts on the finest of work. Then we have Commode the Wingle. Yes, gonna use a Wingle. As much as I hate this Pokemon, I'm going to use Commode the Wingle. Holding an Orin Berry as well with Wing Attack, which puts on the finest of work. Super, super Sonic, I almost said Super Attack. Water Gun and Growl. Then up next, we have Alicia the Zigzagoon. Uh, level 15, holding the orange berries with Headbutt, Growl, Tackle, and Sand Attack. Then we have our starter Pokemon, which you all chose, Oracle, our ball toy, rocking leftovers of Cybeam Confusion, Sand Tomb, and now Rock Tomb as well. We got any kind of tomb you want. Try, I'm, I'm trying to catch a body, bitch. I'm trying to let me know. I got tombs for days, son. Tombs for days. And then a final new member of our squad. We have the Hokage, which is the mystery egg, which is kind of wild. Again, go back to the grinding montage and see. This is the egg that Professor Birch gave us in the beginning of the game. And apparently it hatched into an egg! Imagine that! It is normal bug, apparently, with shell armor, which is great. Box critical hits. Uh, and it's rocking... I should give it an orange berry. Do I have an orange berry? It's rocking tackle harden and leech life. So at least we have stab... Tackle and Leech Life. Still, it's kind of a mystery to me. I named it Hokage because I was watching Shippuden while I was grinding. So I was just like, first thing that came to mind. But still, we have a goddamn egg that we sent out into battle and it fights for us. Okay then! Actually, I don't think we have another, uh, whatchamacallit. Yeah, we don't have another Orange Berry. Another thing that you guys have been telling me since episode one, flooding the comment section with, is apparently all the supply drops have unlimited potions. Thought never crossed my mind to go back and try again, but apparently, in episode three, the conversation last episode, some of you guys have found a way to circle the system. We'll say circle the system, circumvent the system. You can spam the supply crates for potions and then sell them to get pokeballs. So I don't know how I feel about that, but I know I'm about to go to another goddamn supply crate or another potion. By the way, let's go ahead and see what is on and popping in Rustboro City here. We do have one gym badge that we got in the last episode as well from the demon in the forest. But let's see here. Cutter's house. Does the cutter have... Oh, God. Hold on. Before I speak to you and you want to body me, death caller. This is not the cutter's house. This is not the cutter's house. We had the Pokemon that are moved in here to hide it from the demons. Oh. It used to be the cut man's house, but I think the demons got him. Where did they take his HMs, I wonder? And what happened to his daughter? Ooh. Plot thickens. Hey kid, you're a trainer, right? Then maybe you can use this. The Mush Mask. That... I was gonna say, that guy just disappeared! I hear there's a man somewhere who studies mushroom Pokemon. That freaked me out for a second, he disappeared. So we have the Andr An Anadrin Talon. We have Defend... Po okay. Where's the Mush, ma the Mush Mask? A mask of a mushroom head. Okay, I don't know if we were supposed to get that or not or, or not. I don't know. I actually kind of want to check out upstairs Everything's normal. I was gonna say did they change anything up there either? No, no, no. So they have all these zombies here Just chilling. I don't want to talk to her just yet. Well, teach you anything you want to know about Pokemon Well, do you have any hidden items up here? About Pokemon? I'm determined to get a goddamn hidden item somewhere in this fucking city. Asking you shall receive. I mean, I guess technically it's hidden beneath the desk, but we have a demon horn. We blocked the door today with Derek's corpse. <laughs> this is a diary of a child. We blocked the door today with. We blocked the door today with Derek's corpse, but it doesn't seem to do any good. However many times we block it up, the demons always eat their way through again. We're running out of food and guns. Elise was taken today. It's just me left. I'm going to do it with the last bullet. Oh god. And what does the demon horn do? A horn that occasionally allows the first strike. I'm gonna give the demon horn to Hokage. Because why not? He doesn't have an item. We'll give it to Hokage. <sighs> Alicia. Hmm. <laughs> I'm surprised you got this far. I thought the demons I left behind in the woods would have taken you down. What? You're working with them? 
Didn't my trainer class give it away? I'm a death caller, a servant of the Lord Grave Trick. Who's that? Why should I tell you anything? But since my demons couldn't get rid of you, I guess I'll have to do it instead. So, Alicia... Fuck Deathcaller, she's a demon summoner. Deathcaller Alicia would like to battle. So I like how they, they, they like, sneaky sneaky, hide the fact that she is your rival. Because you battled her twice now. She's the only trainer that we battle more than once. Foresight, nigga. Do I look like a normal type to you? I know I got a long ass nose. Or I, sh I should have named I should have named a beautiful I hear probe instead of Peter. But again, Peter just sound it just looks like a timid like it's Peter. It just looks timid. Wait, why am I? Oh, I was gonna say I keep thinking I have a bug type move, but ghost resist bug. So I can keep using gust and we're good. God damn. Ha, huh, bruh. Wait a couple gens. Wait a couple gens. Wait a couple gens. Get out. What did she send out? Oh, it's a sneasel. Oh, I should have swapped because I am a flying type. Um. Alicia. Yo, we're gonna send out Alicia. Uh, is it Alicia? Alicia against Alicia. Bruh. Nobody give a fuck about that. Unless you have Brick Break. <gasps> the one crowd made a world of difference. Hold on. Time out, time out, time out. Commode, save the day. Oh, God. Wait, you're nice type. Does ice resist flying? I don't know if it does. We'll find out right now. Bruh. It. The. 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 the the post move shit happens and now I can't supersonic. Alright, well, never mind. I'm just gonna water gun you instead. Stop taunting! Actually, no, keep taunting. You're not doing damage that way. It's fine. Like, it doesn't tell you, like, it's it's not very. I wonder. Is it because it's just neutral? It doesn't say anything? But I. Does ice resist for I don't know if it does or not. I have to look it up afterwards. Because normally it says, like, not very effective or super effective. But if it's just neutral, does it say anything at all? I don't know. IDK. Alright, Alicia, that's twice now, and I whooped your ass. It's best two out of three. Don't tell me you want best of five, best of seven, best of nine, best of thirteen. Fuck that. I lost to you? Again, yeah. Mm hmm. Whatever. I've already called up a godly, a goodly number of demons. A goodly number of demons. English. I'll just go back to Verdant Turf and file my report. Go back to Verdant Turf. So, that's what, I guess that's what the people outside of town were talking about when they said that there were demons in Verdant Turf? Oh god. They said there's a Hohen Bank, formerly Overlarge House. Okay, Mr. Demon. A human like you, it would be beneath me to even consume you. Shit on my life then, damn. That kinda hurt. Oh shit. I don't know who this is. Huh! What voice what voice? I don't know. He Huh! He's late! This is not acceptable! Coming master! Oh wait, oh no, coming master! You are unacceptably late, D Dan Dantelion! I apologize, Master. This body is rather slow. It's it is a is it is a result, I believe, of the legs having been removed. Make sure you acquire another soon. I will require you to be at your best when we challenge them. Them. You mean the? F Don't mention their names. Beings of such power as they can hear their name whispered over many miles. I don't wish to bring down their wrath upon us before we are ready. Yes, Master. Be silent, although I have cloaked us with a field of invisibility. Boy. The demons of this place will hear us if we do not keep our voices down. I have found the vessel that is summoning them. However, it is in a cave of the northeast of here. Together, we will dismantle it. Yes, master. What the hell was that? Who were they? Something about them felt familiar. Is it possible? I've met them before? And how is it possible that I could see them when they plainly no one else could? I guess it doesn't matter. If they're gonna stop these horrific demons, then they're my allies. I better go and help them. I might even get some answers into the into their into the bargain. The f the Devon Corporation, for all your living needs, we make it all. Wait, a sign. Authorized personnel only. Whew, that was close. I almost went in somewhere I wasn't meant to. Like, I've never played Borderlands or Skyrim before. Nigga, please. 
Is this one cake with... We can go in the gym. Oh, this one's gonna be caked with skulls and shit. TM39. I wish it was 35. I don't have anyone that can learn 35, but let's see what it is. Rock... Oh, shit. Too bad we already have Rock Tomb. No one else can learn it. Gosh darn it. Gosh darn it. Hello, Mr. Man. Are you missing your legs? This hiker is dead. Welp. I retract my aforementioned statement. Someone has hollowed him out with their teeth from behind, so if you wanted to, you can get inside him and wear him like a suit. WHAT?! Loot his corpse! Obtain the zombie liver! Can I wear him like a suit? Flesh suits! Chewed out by someone's teeth! Flesh suits! Chewed out! By someone's teeth. It's popping ugly. Possessed corpse. Those zombies in the pen down there. They're food for us, dear. By the way, that's a lovely body you managed to get yourself. Hardly a scratch on it. Uh, yeah. All right. So before we uh, continue to the actual objective, I want to see what's up here. Not a goddamn fucking thing we can do. Never mind. Let's just back to Rustboro City. We go. Those kids are still in the woods over there. I don't know what I don't know what the fuck that is. Now, I don't want to say that this is our brother. Because we he seems oddly familiar. Now, the game could throw us a curveball and be like, oh, this is your boyhood friend who escaped the Little Root Massacre. That's what I'm betting the two things on. What's that? I sense a presence. You! What are you doing here? What the hell? Don't pretend to be confused. You can't fool me, even disguised as you are. Who the fuck are you? I've lost my memory and you look familiar. <sighs> Incident child. I'm Navi, by the way. Can it be? I do not believe this to be a lie. Very well, you may call me Gleese. It seems I have mistaken you for someone else. You must possess an uncommonly strong second sight in order to be able to see me. And I only know one other human with that power. That is where my confusion arose from. Uh, I see. I feel like he's talking about our brother. Since our brother's champion and a boss ass bitch, I feel like he's referring to our brother because the only other human that you could confuse us for would be our brother because we look alike. And the reason that we would have the second sight is because we're related. Ah! Uh, I overheard you earlier saying how you were going to destroy the thing that was making the demons appear. And I want to help. I came here to look for my brother and his girlfriend, but an old woman asked me to drive the demons away, so I said I would, and well, I'm going to, so let me help. Hmm. You look strong, yes, but I'm not sure you are quite up to this task. If you please, may I test you first to see if you will be of any aid? Of course. Then let us begin. Okay, please. Don't blow me back. Okay, I just, I just finished grinding. You look kind of wild. Your hair is purple here. Your hair is purple here. Face leech. Interesting. Interesting. Face leech. Like Zygarde has the one percent form. This is Deoxys's one percent form. I don't know what just happened. I, I sped up when after the the, the the thing. Poison Fang. Please don't. Oh. That's kind of wild. That's kind of wild. Speed boost. That's what it was. Please stop confusing me. Are you still a psychic type, though? That's such trash! Alicia just got bodied! <sighs> I really wanted to keep Alicia, too. I really wanted to keep Alicia too. How do you just get blown back like that? What the? Fuck, Gleese. Well done. You'll make a useful ally. No, I don't make a useful ally because you kill my Pokemon. Very well. You may accompany me. I shall now heal your Pokemon. 
My servant, Dandelion, is waiting at the cave mouth to the east. I'll go and join him. When you have prepared yourself, prepare yourself. Please join us and I will explain what must be done. Well, I, I literally, I literally just asked him. I said, I just got finished grinding. Please don't body my team. And instantly, what does he do? Takes away our first. That was that was the first Pokemon we actually caught. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna rename this. We're gonna name this. No, you know we're gonna we're gonna name it like what we just got finished speaking about. Ugh. 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 It's the tomb. We must lay Alicia to rest now. And that was not of my own plan or desire. I did not want Alicia to go down like that. But Gleese, who is our supposed ally. Wait, 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 wait. There's no mark here. I can't buy any Pokeballs here. I don't want to go all the way back. Oh, that's so annoying. But this is a new route. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm sorry. I'm going to do it. I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back. I'm going to brave the woods yet again. And I'm going to venture back and sell some of these potions that I have. We, there's only been one Pokemart this entire time. That's kind of wild. You guys realize that? There's only been one Pokemart in Old Dale Town this entire time. I guess that makes sense. This is the only place that's been like safe and secure as there's a zombie in the Poke fucking Mart. Okay, I'm gonna buy... Oh, we don't have to sell anything. We got money. We got money. Alright, so I'm gonna scoop up those. And then we're going to quickly now, quickly now, make our way back. Sorry, little Puccina. And sorry, Alicia. Alicia makes me so sad. Alicia's gone. Dead and gone. I was not expecting to lose a Pokemon in this episode. And look, they rub it in my face. They actually just rubbed it in my face. Cascoon, not interested. Let me go. Stop it! Let me go. Alright. Now imagine all that didn't happen. It was super fast mode. Ah! Alright, Route 116 is a new encounter. Hello, Mr. Zombie. I used to be a zombie, but then I took an arrow to the knee. But either Gleese or Dantelion has nailed it to the floor. Oh, it used to be a zombie with its own amputated arm. Must be a pretty sharp arm. God damn. Alright, so we need a new encounter on Route 116. First encounter is... Okay. We have three flying types now. We do have a ground type. For those said flying types, I kind of don't want to leave you in because that, that is a bug. That is a bug. I'm going to supersonic you. And I missed. There you go. Just hurt yourself in confusion. That's all you need to do. I'm not even going to attack you. I'm not even going to attack you. I'm going... Orpheus Ball? A rare ball made to commemorate a concert. When the fuck did I get an Orpheus Ball? Did I get that from the Pokemon just now? Courageously stands his ground against his foes, however strong they may be. This gutsy Pokemon remain defiant even after a loss. On the other hand, it cries loudly if it becomes hungry. So we have a female Talo. There's only one name for it. We have Urza. Unfortunately, I don't think Urza is going to join our squad right now. Because like I said, we just have... <sighs> then again, it does have Focus Energy, Quick Attack, and Wing Attack. Just, we have so many flying types. I'm going to say Urza is not on the squad for right now. Urza is not on the squad for right now. But then why is Urza with us? I should take it back. This was once a zombie, but either Gleese or Dandelion has buried its feet in the earth and cut off its hands. Now it is stuck and wobbles in a comical manner. That is some detail. That is some detail. This was once a zombie, but Gleese has torn its face off and tied its brain to a tree root. You know it was Gleese who did it because its head is covered in face leech spit. Alright. So I think we're going to officially add Talo Urza to the squad. Because I was sitting there thinking about it. It's like, if we're gonna if we're gonna do this, the whole reason in us actually getting uh, an extra mod just now was so that we'd be prepared. It's a strange it's a strange amount of creature like a snail, except it uses this man's corpse as its shell. It looks like it's going to move very, very slowly. This path is just blocked off completely. Okay. 
A special plus. Why, why, take, why go out of your way to rename those? I don't understand that. Okay, so... Rustboro City has been pretty interesting so far. I still think the wildest thing we've seen is the flesh suit. Who are you? Oh! You're Nappy! Yes? I am Dazzlion, so... Did he get a new body? Okay, you know what? Dantelion, obviously he got a new body. He was a demon at one point, or whatever, I don't know what it is, but... Perfect voice, since he's like... A host. Get it? A host? Men in Black Cockroach voice. Oh, sugar! Oh, I'm Dantelion, servant of the one you call the least! Oh, right, I didn't recognize you. You changed bodies. Yes, I have! What do you think of this one, my boy? Does it... Suit me. Am I sexy? Yeah, sure. Oh, thanks. Anyway, the master has instructed me to remain outside and keep a lookout. He wants you to go inside. I shouldn't keep him waiting if I were you. Okay, thanks, Dantelion. Dantelion. What an interesting fellow. Rust Turf Tunnel. This is a new area. Can we get a new encounter? We got a Pokeball. That's begging. That's a screaming encounter. Survey says! Alright, so they actually have Whismer here. They actually just have regular Whis Whismer here. Alright, I'm gonna catch it because why not? Why not? You know, it's a new encounter. I'm so sad about Alicia though. Normally Whismer's voice is very quiet. It is barely audible even if one is paying close attention. However, if this Pokemon senses danger, it starts crying at an ear splitting volume. Give a nickname to Whismer. What do we call Whismer? I would normally call it Loudmouth, but it's a female. I'm gonna call it... I'm gonna call it Becky. Becky with the good hair. Nappy, you arrived just in time. Come over here and we'll talk further. Let me to come closer? Do you know how demons are summoned, Nappy? No, then I shall tell you. One sets up a suitable vessel for the demons to flow through from the pit. And then one casts the appropriate spell. This girl here is the vessel. She is channeling the demons through. If I can break the spell on her, no more demons will appear. So what the hell do I do? When the demons in the pit sense their portal to this world being closed, they will flock towards it in the hopes of getting through before it closes. I need you to beat them back before they get through. Okay, I'm ready when you are. Very well, take up your position, please, Nappy. This girl seems kind of familiar. Ah! Landon? Is our brother Landon? May? Oh, she's gone shopping in Slateport with her friend Elise. You know, the cut man's daughter. Are you quite alright, Nappy? You appear to be swaying slightly. Yeah, I'm fine, I think. It was just a little flashback. I remember who this girl was. She's the cut man's daughter. I remember her. I'm ready to go now. Very well, I'll begin working on breaking the spell. Watch out! I sense a demon approaching. Okay, then. So, question is, how would Glee... Oh, my God! Demon Belial... Bel Belal? Bel what? Anorith. Okay, that's a rock type. That's a rock type. Uh... Oh. Oh, no. Please don't use Leech Life. I was gonna say, the only thing you should have... Should be Leech Life, right? Right? I don't think I don't think bug resists psychic. Bug is super effective on psychic, but does it resist psychic? I'm not sure. I'm not learning to the ways. That did not do a lot. But this is ground. But doesn't bug resist ground? And we miss our sand tomb. Miss sand tomb twice. I just want the extra chip damage. Oh wait, rock doesn't resist itself. I can rock tomb because that's super effective on bug. Fuck out, bitch. It doesn't do that much because it's fucking... It does say it's super effective. Yeah, bitch. Bitch. That's what I thought. Sand Tomb, Rock Tomb, double it up. Suck a dick. Alright. Peter's level 17. Stuns, well, that's actually kind of useful. Demon Balao. Another Anorith. Level 17. Okay, I'm not a huge fan of how the levels are progressing. TBH. TBH. Yo, Rock Tomb is that fucking move, nigga! Alright, Demon Belial. Belial. 
I'm no, no, I'm not about to summon shit in my office right now. No, you see, that's kind of shit. You read that shit out loud, all of a sudden, a motherfucking demon appears behind me, and I'm gone. I ain't playing that game. I ain't playing that game. What did he say? He spoke in Hedian. He said something crude with the general meaning of, I dislike you intensely. Be careful, here comes another demon. Watch this one be blue with Kyogre's hand. JK, it's red with Groudon's hand again. Demon Asmodeus would like to battle. Another Anorith. They have like this Anorith fetish. I don't understand why, but it's Anorith is just what floats their boat. Can you not miss San it's three fucking sand tombs in a row? What the fuck is sand tombs accuracy? Oracle, come here. 70%. I miss that more than 70 fucking percent of the time. I just missed another move. Does Anorith have, like, shiny armor? Is that his ability? So that I'm blinded? Blinded by the light! No more rock tombs left. Anorith. Okay, so they don't appear... They don't appear to have any bug-type move, which, you know, I can get down with. I can get down with that. Fuck out of here, scrub. Bleach kara niotira kanboku. Just double checking. It's kind of wild. Hurry up, Gleis! I can't. I Gleis! I can't hold off. Hold them off much longer. I have almost completed the required spell, Nappy. Give me a moment more. There, done it. What? What? Ah! What just happened? It would appear that she was consumed by the energy released from the ending of the spell. It is just as well. If she had not absorbed it, the energy would have killed us. Ah, oh, well, fuck her, right? Thank you for your invaluable assistance, Nabby. We will meet again one day. I found that profoundly disturbing. Still, I suppose I can't expect driving out demons to, to be a bed of roses. Now that they've driven out, I should continue my search for my brother in May. Maybe someone in Verdant Turf knows something about them. Huh. So, just fuck her and her life. She wasn't important anyways. I mean, Cutman's gone. Cutman, Cutman, Cutman. Can't get through there. What the hell happened here? This town is ruined. Ow, that hurt. What's with this flashback? They don't usually hurt as much. Ah! Pestilence. Ha! The boot is on the other foot now. I knew you couldn't stand against us, and now all that remains is to bid you adieu. I must have passed out and fallen down the cliffs. What was that? You! What are you doing here? You've interrupted me. I'll bring you to my boss. You! I remember you. You're, you're pestilence, but from where do I know you, and why can't I remember anything about you other than your name? So much is happening right now. I just wanted to get to a Pokemon Center. <laughs> That's all I really wanted. So much is happening. You! What are you doing here? I thought you were dead, destroyed along with that deadbeat town. But wait, you say you only remember my name. Yes, that's right. Who are you, Pestilence? At least I had some success. I may not have killed you, but the impact appears to have at least erased your memory. Needless to say, however, I, Pestilence, the only female member of the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse, I was thinking that, I was thinking that, cannot avoid any loose ends. No! No! I just wanted a Pokemon Center! Why?! You're purple and that's cool, but I'm not ready for this. Molder. I'm gonna paralyze you, bitch. I was not ready for this. I really was not ready for this. Keep it up, bitch. Oh god. Are you being fladoodles right now? A critical hit. I'm gonna stun spore you again. Disable? Disable this fucking nutsack, bitch. Oh my god, this is physical. And that's resisted. Okay, 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 okay. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Yeah, bitch. So I thought. Resisted and super effective. Quillfish. Ooh, this is kind of scary. Wow, this is kind of scary because I don't got to commode. Oh my god. Super Sonic, please. Oh my god, you toxic me. That does nothing. That does nothing. Okay, I feel like you're gonna have water gun. 
Oh my god, I'm poisoned. Do I outspeed? Ah! That did nothing! That did nothing! That did absolutely nothing! That did absolutely nothing! That did absolutely nothing! Hold on, we need to- we need to- Please stop water gunning me. Please stop water gunning me. Please. No, if he crits me, we're gone. Um. What do we do? 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 Um. I'm going to super potion. Oh my god. I can't live another hit. I'm gonna go out to commode. Because I can take the water gun. And then I'm going to... I don't know how much a poison thing is going to do. But I'm going to antidote right now. Fuck! What the f... Oh my god! Stop! Antidote. What in God's name is happening right now? What is actually happening right now? This is kind of ridiculous. This is seriously ridiculous. Okay, I think I can... Okay, 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 we might be good. Hurt yourself, please. Fuck off! That's so annoying, that's so annoying. Okay, Moldor. Oh, shit. That's the, that's the Grimer, right? Okay. I just don't want to risk anything with Oracle. So I'm going to heal. Psybeam. Okay, Psybeam should kill. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. That was kind of wild. Can I please get to a fucking Pokemon Center? Please! I just realized, unless we, unless we have our Mons healed, I don't know what berries we have. We're probably going to lose somebody. If there's no Pokemon Center in this town, we're probably going to lose somebody. No matter, we shall leave this base for now and build ourselves another one. Come, Alicia. I'm so sorry, Nappy. I didn't recognize you in that disguise. Please forgive me for attacking you those times, but times have changed. I work for the horsemen now, and I can't show you any mercy. I won't fight you in this time, but next time I'll go all out against you. Uh, Alicia, wait. It's no use. She's not coming back. What's going on here? How do all these people know me? And why can't I remember anything about them? Wait a minute, what's that? I remember what this is. It's a Pokédex. What? Is this my brother's? He had one, I think. No, wait. He had completed this. I seem to remember May had one that she didn't finish, didn't she? So this is hers. But what was Pestilence doing with May's Pokédex? Huh. I'm probably standing a good chance of finding out if I continue my search. For now, I'll use this Pokédex myself. Okay, so we have one antidote. Oracle? You're n I'm not losing Oracle. Paralysis poisoning. Use Anka mode. Okay! What the fuck? Alright, we're not poisoned. We're not poisoned right now. I'm just gonna sit my happy ass down right here and end today's episode. So if you guys enjoyed today's episode, and of course if you're a proud member of the Happy Nation, make sure you smash the like button down below for us, because you already know your support is greatly appreciated. But with that, I'm gonna get about. Thank y'all once again for your support, and thank you for checking out the video. I'm out this bitch. Bye!